everybody. Welcome. Welcome back to Morning Motivations with Cheryl Spiritual Kitchen. And how's everybody doing today? I hope everybody is doing well. And let's start this morning off with this motivation, this good old motivational prayer that says, this is the day that the Lord has made for you. You will rejoice and you will be glad in it. And everything today will go your way, okay? You just think that and you think positive and you'll have a great day, okay? So, let's, uh -huh, yeah, get your coffee, get your tea, whatever you want to sip on and come over here and let's sip some of this good old godly love, some spiritual love, you know, just some good old morning motivation, something to get you going, you know, throughout your morning, to carry throughout your day, you know, let's take a sip. Be thankful, what you thankful for today? I'm thankful for I'm thankful for just being woke this morning, being able to see another day. How about you? I know y'all thankful too. Okay, we're gonna start this prayer off with James five sixteen. Okay, and it reads: Tell us to share our wrongdoings with other believers, so that we can heal together and pray for one another. When we share our past mistakes with someone we are released from isolation okay and when we pray together we give God the opportunity to heal our hearts God is our healer he saved us from the eternal consequences of sin through his son Jesus okay and to and because of Jesus we have access to a relationship with God and we can bring our request to him and trust that he will hear us, okay? And therefore, he's saying, confess. Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. So that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is powerful and effective, okay? And that is James 5, 16, okay? Listen, sometimes we, it's just like, sometimes we do have to talk to other people about things that we do, things that, you know, go on in our lives, you know, and that's to other believers, you know, so that we can heal together, you know, because sometimes talking about your mistakes or your past problems or your current problems it can help, you know, by talking about it. But you want to talk about it to somebody like-minded, you know. You know, somebody who is a believer as you are. So, yeah, when you do that, yes, yes, we can. We, we should talk to people about things that we go through. Like-minded people, other believers. So we can heal, you know. We need to share our past mistakes, you know. So we are released from the isolation. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I get that. So we need to pray together, basically. We need to pray together and give God the opportunity to do what he does best, you know? Because he is the healer of all healers. And anything that you have going wrong with you or anything, you know, any trial or tribulation, you know, which we're going to go through, I go through, you know, I still go through things, you know what I mean? But I always pray and keep God first, you know what I mean? So, you know, not to say that, oh, my life is just peachy old cream and I don't ever have any problems or trials or tribulations because that's not true. You know, I'm human, you know, and I'm not perfect. I go through things too, just like anybody else do, you know what I'm saying? But I learned to take every problem or trial to God, you know, and just give it to him and let him deal with it, you know, because that's the best way for me to do it. After trying everything else my way, I have to try it his way because after all, it's God's will for my life, not my own. It's not what I want. It's about God's will for me. So, yeah. So, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So, yeah, we have to talk about things, you know. 
some you know some a lot of people are very very private and I and I totally understand that because a lot of people don't want to be telling their business you know this that and the other to people even if they are people that is like um believers too a lot of people don't like to open up a lot of people aren't good at that and I totally I get it I understand that because it was a time where I just held everything in too and never really wanted to tell people things that I was going through you know or you know to that effect you know but I learned that once I started confiding in certain people that were believers as well as me, it helped me a whole lot, you know, because sometimes people can give you a little insight on things that you're not aware of or, you know, it can help you in so many ways, you know. So um, it's a good thing, you know, it's a good thing. And I, you know, I think that, uh, if you go through life and try, at least try to, um, set your sights on God and giving him every trial or tribulation that come into your life, no matter what it is. He will help you with it, okay? And don't, you know, if you do have someone, we're not saying just go out there and just tell all your business to everybody who you might know like that. We're talking, we're saying, he's telling us to share our wrongdoings with others, okay? With other believers so that we can heal together and pray for one another, okay? That's what he's saying. And we need to share our past mistakes with someone. And then that, like I said, it releases us from the isolation that holding all of that in keeps you in isolation. keeps you like bondage, you know, you be stuck and you don't want to be like that. So, yeah, I'm telling you, God is the alpha and the omega. He's the beginning and the end. He already knows. He already has it mapped out anyway. And he knows every step that we're going to make before we even make it. You can believe that. So, yeah, that's the little motivation that I want to bring to you guys this morning. Sometimes it's good to let it out. You know, like I say, get somebody that's a believer like you, a close person that you know you can trust. That's they're not just going to go and spread, you know, everything or or judge you on what you're saying. Because it's not about judging anybody because... The way we judge people is the way God will judge us. So you don't want to be judging anyone. I don't want to be judging anyone, you know, because that's not, it's not good to be judgmental. And like I said, as we judge people, we will be judged by God. So yeah, um, remember that too. So yeah, just, you know, try to, whatever you're going through. Whatever you're going through, take it to him. Take it to him. Take it to true believers that you know that you can trust. Talk it out, you know. Get it out of your system, okay? Feel better. Move on. Don't hold things in that you should let go. It's like let go and let God, you know. He'll take care of it for you. Yes, he will. And I know it gets hard sometimes because I struggle myself, you know, I still struggle, you know, uh, with things, with spiritual warfare, you know, Ugh. you know, it's, 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 it's really deep, you know, but, but God, you know, and, but God, long as I know I got him on my side and I know God is with me, I know God loves me, it's nothing else that I need to be worried about, you know what I mean? Even though our, our minds will play tricks on us, you know, our minds will be going, you know what I'm saying? It's spiritual warfare is, spiritual warfare is real, you know? And, um, yeah, the enemy will bring thoughts into your head and, you know, have you thinking all kind of stuff, you know? But that's where you have, that's why I say we have to stay close to God. We have to have a relationship with him, you all, okay? That's what we have to do. We have to have our own 
separate relationship with God, okay? So that's the message that I wanted to bring today. Sometimes it's good to, to, to talk it out, you know, to speak your wrongdoings and speak your problems, you know? You have, you have to speak it to God and you can speak it to other believers too, you know? It's good to have someone to speak to. It is. It's good to have God on your side with you, which he is. He's there. No matter what, believe me, he's there. So, yeah, we have to learn to just keep him first in whatever we do. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. And we have to pray. Got to keep those prayers up, okay? So that's what I wanted to come to say today. Sometimes it is good to talk it out, you know. Just make sure you're talking it out to the right person, you know. Somebody who can give you some positive feedback, you know what I'm saying? Who can lead you to the word of God, you know, talk to you about God. Talk to you, you know, about God with you, you know what I mean? Shh, you know, explain to you, and teach you, you know. Sometimes we, we, sometimes we need people to, to help us. God will send people to help you on your journey, okay? And whatever journey he has for your life. So when he send those people to you, you have to be aware of the people that he sends to you because you don't want to miss your help, you know, and he will bring you help. Yes, he will. He will. So I hope you guys understand what I was saying this morning. You know, I hope I wasn't too all over the place. You know, I just want you to know that it's good and there's nothing wrong with confessing your wrongdoings or different situations or, 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 or trials and tribulations that you might be going through. You know, it's, it's, it's totally nothing wrong as he tells you right here. You know, we need to share our wrongdoings. So don't forget, therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous person is a is powerful and effective. That right there is is saying so much in itself. So yeah. That's that's what it's saying right there. It's very powerful and effective. So you if you want a powerful effect, that's what you need to do. Okay? And so with that, go about your morning. Be good to people. Be nice to people. Start your day with God. Remember, this is the day that he has made for us. We will rejoice and we will be glad in it, okay? And everything today will go your way. You just think positive and you stay positive, okay? And with that said, until the next video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And yeah, leave a comment. We can talk about it. And yeah, I'm a, I, I, yeah I'll come back and I'll, I'll probably be trying to, you know, do some other different things with the channel too, you know? I'm going to come back and start cooking for you guys again also. So this is something that I will be doing morning motivations and then maybe throughout, you know, in the afternoon, in the evening. Sometimes I'll, you know, put out another video cooking or whatever, you know, still going to be talking my spiritual talk because, you know, that's what I do. But yeah, I, I always want to keep God in my conversation because I love God like he loves me. You know what I mean? And I always want to keep him acknowledged in whatever I do. So yeah, um, just look out for the videos because I'm dropping them and they'll be coming. So, and I, again, I thank you, uh, YouTube for supporting the cause, for supporting my videos, for supporting my channel, you know, so yeah, just let's just keep it up and keep on coming and I'm going to keep on giving, bringing them out to you guys. Okay. So with that, you go on and have a great blessed day. Okay. And until the next video, God bless you.